Hello world, today I show you how to do stuff in After Effects. This is the effect that we're trying to achieve. A basic fire, explosion, make dog disappear, type of thing, just like that. Alright, so we're just going to start a new composition here. And we're going to import a video. Now this is a really long video that I took outside when I was bored. Even though I had in mind what I was going to do. So this is a dog, the main character of the story. And that black kid may be me, may not be me. Let's just try to find the part here where we're going to do the effect on. It's a long video. Okay, so... Right here is where we're going to try to make the little fireball happen. The presets here. And oh, first we have to make a solid. You usually want to make a solid bigger than your composition. For reasons unknown at the time. By me. I just do it because I said to. And now we're going to go to presets in trap code presets and we're going to we're going to find the fire starter HD the simple fire effect we're going to drag it onto the white solid and basically this is what you get you get a type of flame that's flying like some kind of rocket Basically, you don't want it like that, so you have to make the flame still. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find it. It's usually what there it is. We're just gonna take that, it's gonna go ahead in the video until we find it. So, it stops right on the screen. There we go. And now, we're gonna go into that and we're gonna take off the keyframes on the position so that the fire remains still. And notice that the fire is standing still and not moving. We, want, we don't want that. We want the fire to rise. So we're going to change the gravity to negative 880. That's my lucky number right there. I just use it. It's not standard or anything. I just like the number 880 when it comes to gravity. Awesome, awesome. Now, basically, we're going to just position it above the video and we're going to scroll to the part where the fire first comes into it we could just find that part no no almost there too far too far and there we go there we go right here it's very it's exactly where you want the fire to come in so you're gonna scroll ahead a little bit just a little bit and then right there and then you're gonna get the fire you're gonna change the position of the fire right above my hand right there bring it in a little bit and now uh, basically we're going to animate the fire keyframe by keyframe y'all know how that works so basically you just push the page down button to move frame by frame and make sure you have the keyframes checked on the position of the fire you can just move it frame by frame pushing the page down button or doing it manually just push the page down button to move by one frame and you just adjust the fire as you go along we're gonna come back later and do it later, yeah. And now it's later. And so basically now I've already done all the boring part by moving each thing, by moving the fire frame by frame. And so you're probably wondering how I got that little explosion effect down there. So basically, all I did was I just moved the fire very quickly frame by frame all over the dog to give it the illusion of exploding so I push the down button and move it all the way over there push the down button and move it all the way over there push the down button and move it all the way over there push it again and move it all the way over there and again all the way over there and again and again all the way over there to create the illusion of an explosion frame by frame by pushing the page down by me.
and now for the making the dog disappear part basically we have two videos the top one is the max video just gonna click off the fire here the, sec the bottom one is the main video the top one is a max video so basically I drew this box around the dog and I'll just show you that without the mask it's just one video and now I'm gonna redraw the mask using this pen tool it's not the pen tool my bad using the pen tool you're gonna redraw the box or the mask around the top video to reveal what's ever underneath the next video and we're just gonna scroll through here so you can see what's happening basically the next video is just mask it's on top of the bottom video but just only in the only in the yellow little box and in my country the shading the lighting is very awful the lighting changes like every day or every five minutes I should say so the, 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 you could see you could see the difference in the lighting you could just watch and see the difference in the lighting yeah, so I'm just gonna undo all of that by pushing ctrl C because I already did it and I'm just gonna go back to how I had it and now I'm gonna show you the difference in lighting that I was talking about moving frame by frame you can see the difference in lighting they, you can tell that there's a difference in lighting you could tell that I'm using two videos because of the lighting because the lighting changes like every 10 seconds yeah so basically I attempted to cover that up very quickly by same thing by just basically moving or wrong wrong box by basically moving frame by frame and changing the position of the mask so that it covers the other video almost 100 percent so so yeah and in order to, I, I I turn the the opacity down so that the mask comes exactly on key after the explosion disappears and I just move the mask as quickly as I could, frame by frame, so that the other video would get covered up and the shading would be almost the same. So basically, frame by frame, I just move the mask over the other video and covered my feet, basically, frame by frame. And it's very cool because the fire effect is just a preset and it looks way cooler than half the other fires that you see on YouTube.